it's Steve I hope you're well it's been a little while since I've been on YouTube I've had a couple of bouts of COVID uh, scrambled my brain a bit really so I'm not really on top form but anyway uh, I'm back now so I'm gonna be doing regular video updates I've been getting lots of questions I've responded to them all now if you haven't had a response then you know sure leave another comment uh, I'm gonna take you through yield nodes today so the last update I did was at the end of April 2022 so it's been about five months five and a bit months uh, it's now the 10th of October when I'm doing this update so we've got the profit in for September 2022 and yeah it's it's still doing great I can't complain at all you can see at present my master noted balance is 5825 euros or just a few cents short Overall, I've had sort of 6,000 euros out of it. If you remember back in the early videos, I started with a balance of 500 euros, which doubled to 1,000. Uh, I then added another 4,000 euros, which took the balance to 5,000. So all in all, I invested 4,500 euros into this and I've had 6,100 euros out of it. So I'm up on the deal and at present and since the last video, all I have been doing is compounding the profits at 100% per month. I did say that I was musing over whether to do 50-50 withdrawal rules or whether to do 80-20 uh, or 70-30 withdrawals. But in the end, I've just decided to do 100%. I'm very happy with the service. I'm very happy with the sort of integrity of the people involved and the way it all appears to function. I'm very happy with what the actual service is and where the value and where the profits are coming from. So I feel it's sustainable. Um, you know, that's all my personal opinion. You know, as per the disclaimer at the start of the video, this is just don't take. You know, don't listen to me. I'm just some you know dude on the internet. But um, this is not financial investment advice. I'm just explaining what my experience is. You know, this is still cryptocurrency based, uh, and anything to do with cryptocurrency has to be considered to be a high risk venture. That's for sure. So anyway. Uh, Happy with the results. If we look down here, we can see that July's, if I hover my mouse over, over here, it should tell me. July, the profit was 439 euros. In August, I got 318 euros. And in September, I got 293 euros. So the, the, the uh, profit has gone down, down um, in the last three months. It was 5.3% in September. I'm not worried about that. They do have a disclaimer, which I remember from the main website where I think if the profit is under 5% for two months in succession, they will top up the difference themselves out of their own profits. I think it's some something along those lines. I'll maybe um, look into that and figure it out for the next video update. Uh, but essentially, on that basis, we're kind of looking at it will always be a minimum of 5% profit. Uh, I think that's kind of roughly where we are, which is great. So we've already had the first week of profit in, week one profit, which is 1.3%. So if that continues through for the rest of the month, then we'll be looking at a similar month to last month, probably, you know, 5.2, 5.3%. Hopefully week two is a is a bumper week. Who knows? Have a quick look at the reports. Um, we can see for 2022. Where are we? We can scroll down. There we are. We can see what the profit's been month by month um yeah so you can see at in april the end master noted balance was six thousand i then took more drawdowns and you know got it down to five thousand two hundred and then eventually at the end of june my master noted balance was four thousand five was well my master noted balance for june was four thousand five hundred of which i made two hundred and seventy four euros 50 profit so by the end of may i'd done my withdrawals to get my seed money out and a little bit of profit on top so i started at the, at the beginning of june with 4500 i made 274 euros and 50 cents so rolling on to the next month that means a, a start balance of 4774 euros and 50 cents i made a profit of 439 add that on top means i started august with 5213 i made 318 on top of that which means I started September with 5531 and I made 293, which if you add those two together should come to, there we are, 5824. Obviously, I'm just discounting the, the 
the sense for now because it's a, a lot easier for my brain to process um but that's where we are so it's it's the profits are down but um you know they're going to keep moving up and down that's the very nature of it uh, but as long as there's still profits coming in i'm very happy i'm going to keep the same arrangement i think for a little while longer probably through to the the new year um i could you know look to do withdrawals if i desired the amount that i can do for withdrawals at the minute the amount eligible to transfer for withdrawal is 3664 euros so again that that money's just wait waiting there to be withdrawn i could you know quite easily just bang it, bang that transfer over which would then move out of the master noted balance and move into my withdrawable balance uh, i could then withdraw that there's been a change in the past few days and oh, actually on the 8th of october so if you remember the way that withdrawals work with the yield nodes is that you have to request a withdrawal by the 15th of the month so for example we're in october now so if i wanted to withdraw i would have to request a withdrawal by the 15th of october and then ordinarily that used to be paid on the 8th of the following month so in this case it would be paid on the 8th of november what they've done is just basically change the payment dates so the payment dates instead of just being on the 8th i think they're now from the 7th to the 11th so it gives them uh, 7 8 9 10 it gives them five days of over which to make payments so they're not having to process them all in one day because this service has become extremely popular so rather than having to process all of them on one day and sometimes some of the exchanges get a little bit spooked because oh where's all this money going out on this one day they're spreading it spreading it across a number of days so the payment re the withdrawals will now be the 7th to the 11th if we look on the compound interest calculator which i'll put a link to this site below i use it quite a lot it's, it's a useful site the reason that i decided to sort of keep compound in the profits was simply i just thought it was a better way to obviously accumulate a bit of extra wealth hopefully that's my intention with all this so um let's just do a few what if so if we take my current balance here 582497 58 we'll just call it 5825 if that's okay uh, change that to euros the interest rate i'm going to say it's always going to be a minimum of five percent per month so we change that to a monthly basis and we can look you know, I can look two years ahead here and it says compounding interval, that's monthly. So t there are 12 compounding intervals per year. Uh, and I can just do a quick calculation on that and that'll tell me where I'll be. So if I do nothing else and sit back and everything keeps performing as it is doing or has been doing, then my initial 5825 in two years, now, two years from now, will be worth 18,786 euros. And if we look down, we'll see how that would work on month by month, uh, which is, you know, excellent indeed. Now, if we were to change that interest rate, let's say we're a little bit more optimistic and maybe we change it to six and a half percent, for example, then where would that be? Then that would be would be up to twenty six thousand euros in two years time, again, from the same starting balance. So either way, they're both uh, really nice to look at the let's put it sort of 5.5 percent which i don't think is too beyond the realms of possibility given how the service is performed and for the next time that all the crypto markets are on a boom cycle uh, anyway so 5.5 percent gives us about twenty one thousand. now we can look with this calculator it's very handy you see down here there's a place for regular transactions we can click withdrawals and we could say well actually we want to make a withdrawal uh, quarterly half yearly yearly uh, we could do a percentage each month a percentage of the earnings monthly a percentage of the earnings yearly so we can choose if it's just a set amount we could say well actually i want to take 200 euros out every month you know that could be what you want so click calculate and it will do the sums at its own uh sweet time and we can see now that if we were to take 200 euros out per month for the next two years then we would have we would get of withdrawals of 4800 and our balance would also increase to 11547 so there's sort of 
a way of doing doing both. You can you, it's it's down to personal choice and personal preference. For me, at the moment, I don't need to get my hands on that money. So if you the the difference between the two is if we add the eleven five four seven to the five eight two five and to the four thousand eight hundred, then basically that's the the, the difference. Um, sorry, I, I I said that totally wrong. I know, <laughs> said that totally wrong. Um, what I should should have said is that the future investment value of eleven five four seven added to the four thousand eight hundred. That's what the that's how much money the profit uh, the balance would have you know would have been. So overall, you add that to that, and you're looking at sixteen thousand three hundred and forty seven euros. Okay, now if we don't do the withdrawals, let's turn those off. Sixteen thousand three hundred and forty-seven. Uh, if we don't do the withdrawals, then we would have twenty-one thousand and fifty-four. So about three thousand seven hundred euros more. So by not making any withdrawals, we end up with three thousand seven hundred euros more. If we do take two hundred euros a month, then we end up with three thousand seven hundred euros less overall. It's all down to personal choice. I'm just going to leave mine to keep running on the 100%, probably for the next sort of couple of months, probably into the new year. And then after that, if I look at uh, my balance, and let's just say 5.5%, and let's just say that I leave this for October, November, December. So if I leave this for three months and it achieves 5.5% a month, let's see where I'll be come January. So come January, I should have €6,840. Um, six eight four zero. Oh. Pop that in there, and I can say okay for the next year, perhaps just for a year. I want to take, uh, let's just say two hundred euros a month out. So at the start of Jan so start of twenty twenty three, I'll start with six eight four zero. Oh. I'll take two hundred euros a month, and I'll still have a a balance at the end of the year of nine thousand seven hundred. I mean. Whichever way you cut it, it, it it's excellent. The only, the only way that you'd uh, make a sort of you know a, a, a deficit to this really is if you're taking more than you you're earning on a monthly interest, uh, like so. You know, so we'd start with six eight forty, take five hundred euros a month, but we still have four thousand eight hundred. I mean, it's still it's still not bad, is it? Because you start with six thousand eight hundred, you take six thousand euros out over the year. Uh, you take six thousand euros out, and you've got four eight one one left. So your initial balance is six thousand eight hundred minus four thousand eight hundred. So it's cost you two thousand euros to take for six thousand out. So even doing that, like if you you know, if the cost of living and everything else, and you think, oh, actually, I could do with some extra funds, it still it still works for me. It's just an incredible, credible service that, and I'm happy to to be a part of it. Anyway. Um, I hope that's been of use, seeing where I'm up to. I'll provide monthly updates from now on, so please stay tuned. If you could hit the thumbs up, give me a like, that'd be great. If you fancy subscribing, then you'll make sure you get all of the updates from now on. And you know, there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button too, so you'll get a notification. And other than that, I will put links in the description to all of this uh, below the video. So please sort of expand it, have a read of it. And um, yeah, I wish you the very best of luck. Right, thank you very much. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.